Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 56 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. So we're going to keep moving on with this. After that crap episode last time, that was like the worst episode I've ever done in this game, maybe. Ooh, this thing's a doppel. Oh, I get it, like doppelganger, because they look like the other guy, I don't know. It doesn't even look like a new enemy at all. It looks like the old phantom enemy, like from the Kirisu, is just tinted green. Normally they do a better job than that. Oh well. I guess it doesn't matter either way. Man, we are so powerful. Look at this, attack up. So powerful and attack up to boot. Okay, and you should die very soon. Hopefully, doppel. There we go. And he's dead. Rock on. Jeez, the enemies in this place give so much experience. Look at this. Wonder how many level ups I'll get in this video. Cause what was that? That was like that was like more than ten level ups in the last video. Oh please don't respawn the enemy, because I um please. Okay, thank god, it didn't. I was afraid that the Glum Reaper would be respawn after I fell. That would have been bad. Well, at least when you fall, it doesn't send you down to the unicorn's lair, because that would be even worse. Alright, Amiiboid. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, as long as you have Mario attack first, he'll pretty much always kill the Amiiboid in one hit. I think Geno might too. But Toadstool, I'm not so sure about. Alright. Um, what's this way? Stuff. There's a switch. I don't know if I want do anything here yet. I'm just going to keep exploring this place just to see what else there is. Doesn't look like there's really anything over here. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, it looks like there's just an amoeboid over here. So, I think I'm just going to move on. And I think I actually did miss an item box back there. Uh, towards, like, it was near the save point. I might show it off later, but I already know it's like a full heal mushroom, and I don't really need that right now, so no big deal. And it might be later on, too. So, ah, crap. Oh my god, so many of them. What the hell? Holy crap. No! <laughs> so many me boards, and they're all after me. Man. I don't want to fight them all, so I'm just going to run. Just run, Mario! Oh, wait. No, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, there's the item box. Awesome. And we'll save again, just for the hell of it. Make sure we don't lose that, like, two minutes of progress, I guess. And here's an item box. What the hell? An ultra hammer? Okay, I guess that's a weapon for Mario. But I think the lazy shell is probably better, so I'm gonna keep it on that. Man, I hate these stupid bolts. Like, in other Mario games, they're okay, because you don't have to, like, jump and... You're not looking at it from an isometric view. But these ones in particular in this game are just so annoying. Thank god they're like just in this final area, not littered throughout the entire place. What's going on here? Whoa! Looks like it's time for battle! It's Mario! It's Mario! How did he get here? We better do something! Whoa. And this is Father Time. No, this is Countdown. <laughs> I think that's actually a really clever name for it. Like, Countdown. Like, Count Dracula. But, Countdown. <laughs> I don't know. Something about it is just amazing. And this reminds me of the clock guy from, uh... What is it? Beauty and the Beast? Uh, Clocksworth or something? I don't know. Reminds me of him. Because it's a freaking clock. Dark Star. Uh-oh. This could be dangerous. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I should give you, like, the stats on this boss, shouldn't I? Uh, oh, don't. you just did that, come on. Okay, well, while he's doing that crap, I'm gonna look him up. It's one, it's one o'clock, time to play. Ice Rock. Okay, this is an interesting battle. I honestly don't remember too much about this battle. But he just attacked three times in one turn, we can't handle that. Okay, where are you in this? Okay, if this list would scroll, that would be nice. Uh, countdown, where are you? Scooby-dooby-doo. 
Where are you? Okay, he should be... Yeah, there he is. So he's weak to jump and thunder. And resistance to fear, poison, sleep, and mute. And he'll use different attacks depending on the time. He's got Petal Blast, Aurora Flash, Water Blast, Crystal, Recover, Mega Recover, and Corona. Well, he also had Dark Star and, like, Ice Rock and... I don't know. They always they don't always list, like, all the magic that he has here. And he's got 2,400 HP. So, get ready for long battle, unless you're pa ultra powerful like I am. I'm gonna go ahead and super jump him. Because he's weak to that, you know. Whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah, I have actually been practicing that a little bit off screen. Maybe you could see from that. That was crazy. Crazy amount of damage, too. Alright, fear roulette. <laughs> you missed. Oh, dear. It's 3 o'clock. Time. No, don't recover. Dude. Well, at least it's not mega recover. I can say that much. Right, let's go with another super jump, I guess. No time like the present. That was a very good choice of words. Alright, that wasn't as great, because I was talking. And it screwed me up. Oh well. Alright, the watch is broken. Alright. Oh, there's two... Oh, I, for I didn't realize that there were actually like these two up here. Now I have to look them up too in this list. Okay, ding -a -ling. Okay, take these troublemakers out quickly, because the fear roulette will kill one of your guys. Oh, well, it missed, so that doesn't matter. Weak to ice, and I don't have that in my party right now. Resistant to fear, poison, and sleep. And, uh, yeah, they've got Dark Star, Fear Roulette, Spore, Chimes, Doom Reverb, and Scarecrow Bell. And they've each got 1,200 HP, so that's not good. So in total, like, this boss has, like, 4,800 HP. It's crazy. I suppose I should ju start using Geno boost, boost, should I, Dark Star? No! Come on, hit Peach, hit Peach. Damn it. And Fear Roulette, uh-oh. Yes, awesome. Can't kill Peach, because she is immune to insta-death. Right, Mario, just go ahead and super jump, because you're powerful with that. Not bad. And Geno, Geno Boost, because that's useful. Bam! Perfection. And Peach, I think you need to heal up Mario, because he's running critically low on HP. Sweet. And what's that you can do? Dark Star again? Damn it. You love spamming that, you, you noob. Use Scarecrow Bell or something. What the hell was that? <laughs> it was just like a normal attack, I guess. Alright, how much will this do? 384, that's actually pretty good. I think I'll just stick with that for now. Oh, why didn't I use Geno Boost on Geno? I'm dumb. Man. You need to stop with this Dark Star business, man. Well, at least he's attacking Toadstool now. Doom Reverb. Oh, he's doing that on Mario. Mario's not immune, so it's gonna do something to him. Okay, he's mute, so he can't jump anymore. Which is sad, but I can handle it. Alright. And there goes the first dingling. Gino, we're gonna put a boost on you. This is crazy. I I also love like the battle arena in this area in the factory because like it's just like this random platform in the middle of nowhere and there's like no background. It's just again, it fits entirely with the atmosphere. It's amazing. All right, two thirteen. I think Mari's gonna need another Gino boost, but. For now, Geno is going to use his Geno boost. I think that the this battle should be nearly done. Holy crap. The wind just blew a piece of wood up against my window. I'm surprised it didn't crack it, honestly. It's a powerful wind out there today. And are you dead? Yes, awesome. And we beat Countdown and the Dinglings. Countdown and the Dingling Troop. Alright, oh. Was this save block here before? I don't know. 
Regardless, I'm going to use it because I need to. Well, I don't need to. And let's move on. Move forth. Further into the depths of wherever the hell we are of this factorial dimension. What the? No, it's an Axum Ranger. What? It's another one. What is this? He's like mass producing these Axum Rangers. This is crazy. And yes, you can actually get into battles with these guys, so try to avoid them. Oh, crap. Well, I guess I have to show it off eventually anyways. Yeah, these are no joke. There's like regular enemies that are bosses. I think they're, they're like obviously probably weaker than the boss versions. Yeah, I see machine made. They're all machine made. Yeah, I see they're pretty weak for... They're like a lot weaker than the actual Axum Rangers. But still, this is kind of creepy, if you ask me, like, just mass-producing all these things. Like, who knows what else he's mass-producing. He's mass-producing one of his minions that we fought before. Then who else are we bound to see in here? Who knows? And when are we actually going to get to see Smithy? Come on. We don't even know what he looks like. Well, I do, but that's for later. <laughs> I just need to shut up sometimes. Alright, jeez, these fat ones take forever. HP max, that's kind of nice. Yeah, all that fat in his belly made me recover all my HP. Man, oh my god, another piece of wood just blew up against my window. This is ridiculous. I think I'm going to make these videos in the factory a little bit longer than normal, too. Just because this area is so amazing that you need to see as much of it as possible every single time. Alright, there's another level. And let's move on. Oh crap. Dude, wait, what? Where am I? Where where did I fall to? Um That was interesting. Well, thanks for that game. I did not expect that at all. I thought it would just show me that cutscene of like me bouncing off the spring again. All right, I guess it's good to fall there then if you're paying attention to that kind of stuff. All right, more me boys here. Uh let's just avoid them. And, oh, what's that? Is that like an arrow? What the hell? I, I'm getting hit by arrows. Okay, what is this? We have a javit and a mad mallet. <laughs> I love the mad mallets. It reminds me of the Looney Tunes for some reason. It's crazy. They're not that strong. These are basically like the actual direct underlings of Smithy, I guess. The ones destined to protect his ultimate weapons factory. Oh, crap. Right. Oh, dude. Dude! Alright, I just totally ran from that and just... Because I didn't... I wanted to get a line of fire. Okay. Looks like we got some shysters. Maybe. Maybe not. And this is a Springer and a Glum Reaper. We haven't seen this. Well, actually, we might have seen the Springer before. But now he's dead anyways, so... Ooh, once again. Can we finish off the Glum Reaper, too? Bam! Mario is such a bamf. Come on. And, oh, Toadstool's tool reaches level 24. Uh, no, not attack. What are you thinking? Well, I guess attack wouldn't be too bad for her anyways. Stop getting hit with those damn arrows. Alright, seriously, now let's get a move on. And stop. Who's hitting me with these arrows anyways? I only know of one guy who does that. And what, is that what I think it is? We've seen this guy before, haven't we? <gasps> it's Machine Made Mac! Oh my god. And his more Machine Made Shyster minion things. Well, okay, we're fighting Mac again. Mac attack from the outback. Alright, drain. Ah, two. Damn, he's gonna get five times to attack in one turn. That sucks. They just keep draining Gino. That's weird. Yeah, I'm just focusing on taking out the Mac machine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the Mac machine. Sounds so industrial, but this entire area is industrial, so I guess it makes sense. And just take out the machine-made shysters one by one. Man, why do they keep doing that? It's obviously not doing them any good. Almost done here. Come on, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Yeah, I done that. 
Alright, I think we're pretty much going to end the episode off here. So, next time, we will keep on progressing through the factory. So, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Major signing out. Thank you, and good night.